Hello and welcome to Master Maths. We're doing higher GCC exam preparation, looking at a question 15 on transformation. We have a shape A and a shape B. This describes fully the single transformation that maps A onto triangle B. So let's use our process of elimination. It's not reflection because it's not the same side of a mirror line. It's not translation because it's not in the same orientation in a different position. But there we have to think about it. That base there is 2, but that base there is 3. So is an enlargement, but at the same time, it's rotated round. So is it a rotation? Now, a rotation wouldn't lead to something changing shape. So it's an enlargement, but there's something slightly different, that it, it isn't a completely different orientation. And that's where it makes me think it's a negative enlargement. So going through a point, so... I'm going to put that it's a negative enlargement and hopefully it'll give us one of those marks. We then need the center that it goes through and the scale factor. Now the scale factor should be <clears throat> easier to see. That was 2, that was 3. So to go from 2 to 3, you're multiplying by 1.5, but it's going to be negative 1.5. But now we've got to think about what is it going through to reach there. It's not going through the origin because it's further away this side than here. And if this was base 2 and that's base 3, um, it needs to be further away on this side. So I'm again going to count by 3. 3 and 3 leads me to that point. And 2 and 2 leads me to that point. It makes me think that is the or well, not the origin, the center of enlargement. And if we used rulers, well, you could see that that line there is going to go straight through that point there. So <clears throat> if I had a, two free hands and a ruler, I could show you that all those points would flow through that line there. Okay, that's given us all the points we need. I'm going to go for a negative enlargement of one point, minus 1 1.5 through 1, 1. Center of enlargement 1, 1. Okay, there we go. That's a uh, two-mark question. I've, I've actually gone over the time there, but hopefully we can uh, have saved time on those early questions. That's why I keep saying early in the paper, try and save time so you can spend more time on these more challenging questions later in the paper. That's higher GCSE transformation question, negative enlargement. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and good luck for your exams.